All right, so this is day three at this campground. We arrived uh, on the evening, then spent the whole day yesterday and departing before noon. So I got, uh, well, we're just back in here pretty much quickly, so we don't have to pay for second day. I went up the hill for better reception and called the dealership. So they did take the truck for a spin. It's about uh, 100 miles uh, because basically technician yesterday, they couldn't reproduce the code. So they reset it, but second time they couldn't. However, uh, they did mention yesterday that the truck uh, had two recalls uh, and one of them was PCM. So they did uh, do proper updates to that and I think something airbags and uh, yeah one of the like technician supervisors they asked me for permission hey we can do a test at high speeds all that the guy lives far away it's like 100 mile round trip so 150 kilometers um, and I'm like okay go ahead so uh, this morning yeah uh, no issues came up uh, it's fine they say uh, we're basically gonna go pick it up. We're in near Monterey, so north of Monterey. It's gonna be about three and a half hour drive to Hanford. It's still gonna cost me like uh, some diagnostics, all that stuff, money, but uh, still kind of sketchy. I hate these problems that you know come in, come in, and go away. And plus, the kick the truck when it shook it was like uh, like several times when it happened. It was like really bad. I, I thought it's definitely something mechanical, but if it was mechanical, then you know it would be repeatable on six gear shifting and it's not so and rod kind of speculated that it's maybe not a mechanical thing uh, anyway maybe if the pcm upgrades did something who knows but uh very like truck is ready come pick it up like we can't do anything further than that everything seems to be normal because potentially if something came up then today yeah they would go through the hassle of like uh uh, picking up my warranty, all that, contacting manufacturer, you know, like digging into transmission and so on. So it's still kind of sketchy, I don't know what's up, but we're gonna proceed back up and uh, pick it up and proceed to south. I'm gonna keep it uh, near a border somewhere today and uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna enter Mexico, but we just lost three, really, yeah, pretty much three days because of this sucks oh well what can you do so time to help back in. we should stop actually tonight or tomorrow because so he was finishing this trailer uh past two weeks or something and he just finished all this metal work uh before the trip right and it was like in the garage all this time in the inside so with all the rain that we bumped into everything rusted out because we didn't have time to paint we need to stop at Walmart to pick some sandpaper and and a uh, can of sprays and uh, we're gonna do this in Baja I'll help you we'll paint yeah. your thing no All time for rust. painting guys so that's two days worth in California rust yeah it's crazy two days ago this was just clear like it was bare still yeah. but it was clean because there was it, lots of rain on the way. Yeah, here. so we, we yeah. hit rain all the Oregon way. Oregon and yeah, all the yeah. way from Washington, Oregon, all the way to here, and it was wet. Yeah. But it was not rust, and then we just spent what this will be two nights now. Yeah. And it's just the, the yeah. rust explodes. So. Like I was saying, I have some track work to do as well. Once we hit camping, like yeah. deploy right. some things I wanted to. Insulate uh, for the record, guys. It's a bad idea. Bring bare metal. That's dumb. Don't do it. Oh, yeah, but hey. take, I mean, I didn't have the time for paint. Exactly. When you're in one time, when it's time, what can you do? Yeah, yep. So that was Victor's fault. How is it my fault? I don't know. I'll find a way for <laughs> all right. Time to say goodbye to my crib. It was a uh, nice. It, and cold and uh, but that minus sleeping bag saved my ass uh, without it I would be freezing here it's definitely cold at night here anyway time to hit the road yeah we're finally on the way to the beast please drive safely I need to see my bad boy tonight 
to slip in it. I need to hug it. I'm gonna. You're gonna shoot me jumping on it and kiss it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, finally arrived so hopefully it's not gonna cost much my baby my baby so all it costed me is 140 us and really it's just diagnostic supplies so essentially right they did this uh, uh, what do you call it real very cool computer upgrades and all that stuff and all that riding didn't really cost anything obviously hopefully they didn't drain my tank too much well he should have filled up something uh, baby baby <laughs> mm -mm. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. It's just I need to align all the seats. All the stuff's been changed by a guy that's been driving. Oh, home sweet home. It is home. Freaking my little tree house. My man cave. My my investment. Yeah, I got my things laid out again. Yay. So I'm gonna meet Rod at uh, Walmart, we basically went to uh, do a head start on that, we got a new supply and then uh, gonna proceed south, whatever we're gonna end up today, uh, like we got some rest this couple of days, so maybe we can do a push to be like two hours away tomorrow from Tikari and gonna enter, that's it. And it's really hot right now, like really, 20 Celsius right now in uh, Hanford, so pretty good, but on the coast was very kind of chilly still. We stopped at Walmart, just kind of repacking, repacking. We did very thin, so I had to repack all of my stuff here. Get a little meal and uh, yeah, reset up all this stuff. I need to plot something for tonight. We probably have a four hour drive. And this is the end of the episode. So see you guys in Mexico tomorrow. Hey comrades, don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed yet, you should by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification next to it so you can actually get my video updates both in notification and your video feed and as well you can support this channel if you like my videos through PayPal or Patreon in the links down below or just after this video.